சௌந்தரிய லகரி த வேவ்ஸ் ஆஃப் பியூட்டி சிவசக்தியா யுக்தோ எரிபவதி சக்த பிரபவிதம் சௌந்தரிய லகரி த டிஸ்கிரைப்ஸ் அபவுட் தி மெனி ஃபேசட்ஸ் ஆஃப் தி காடஸ் வித் தி இனிஷியல் ஃபார்ட்டி ஒன் வேர்சஸ் ஆதி சங்கராச்சாரியா ஆடட் ஃபிஃப்டி நைன் வேர்சஸ் அண்ட் கம்ப்ளீட்டட் திஸ் ஹண்ட்ரட் வேர்சஸ் ஆஃப் சௌந்தரிய லகரி The first sloka of this Saundari Lahari tells, United with the Shakti, Shiva has the great power. Without the Shakti, there is no power for the Shiva. Shakti is the ultimate source of the power even to Shiva. Verse 11 of this Saundari Lahari tells about the king of consciousness that is called as Shri Chakra. The Shri Chakra on the word it is depicted as one dimensional chakra but it is not just one dimensional it is having the numerators and denominator corrected by different triangle the numerator of the shri chakra describes a masculine nature and denominator of the shri chakra describes a feminine nature chaturbhi shri kanthaihi shiva yuvati bhiv pancha bhirapi prabhinna bhishambho nava bhirapi mula prakriti bhihi 39 of this saundarya lahari depicts about the chakras of the body which in turn speaks about the kundalini and about the manipuraha fire and water participates in opposite side of the swadhisthana which is in the principle of the cancellation of the counterparts yada lokan lokan dahati mahiti krodha kalite yada lokan lokan dahati mahati krodha kalite Sri Lahari gives 100 siddhis for 100 tasks. Every siddhi is used to accomplish one particular task. If one utters this Saundari Lahari with conviction, they could achieve anything in this life. 17 of this Saundari Lahari also explains about the semantics. Sagatta Kavyanam Pushati Mahitam Sagatta Kavyanam ீமந்தரணி ருத்ரம் ீமாஷ on the verse 96 of the saundarya lahari this compares the shakti with the other two goddesses lakshmi and saraswati this doesn't mean to undermine the other two goddesses the two goddesses are easy to attain with the hard work and knowledge but to attain the shakti the grace is always required mahadevam hitva tava sati sati nama charame kujabhyama sangaha on the verse 100 of saundarya lahari is sarcastically tells that composing the saundarya lahari with your own words is like adorning the sun by its own niranjana offering argya to the moon by the water flowing out of the moonstone pleasing the ocean by giving tarpana that is pleasing the ocean by giving a little drop of water as sacrifice pratipajwala bhihi 
दिवसकीराजन विधि सुधा सूते चंद्रोपल जलल वैरघ्य रचना स्वकीयरंभो सलिल निधि सौहित्यकर्णीर्वा तव जन निवाचा स्तुतिरिय this auspicious occasion of navaratri one must chant the saundarya lahari to get all the enlightenment and all the powers and blessings of the shakti and to surrender in the lotus feet of the lalita devi thank you everyone let's see again